Windcraft is a game that I really enjoy on multiple different levels. It's based in Minecraft, so there's a layer of weird, like, disconnected nostalgia there, like, playing a game that has essentially nothing to do with Minecraft, but that looks and feels just like Minecraft. And I just love that weird, nostalgic feeling that I get. But anyway, today we're going to look at a shader pack I use to make Minecraft look nostalgic in a different kind of way, a more PlayStation 1 kind of way. And I thought at the same time, we'll check off another town from our list and talk about Malta. Which gets wins easiest to walk right past award. The link for the shader pack that we'll be talking about will be in the description and after we talk about the town I'll show you all the settings and whatever. There's not that many but you really don't need that many with this. Maltic is the first place that the first villagers arrived at in Wynn. It's essentially a historical landmark but at a glance just a simple level 10 agricultural town. Maltic's lore is short but it's extremely significant to like the overarching story of Wynn as a whole. In 900 AP, villagers set off from Levigar on a ship with luxurious goods to escape decay and find more emeralds. It shipwrecked, actually, and this is where they established the town of Maltic and made an alliance with the humans that would go on to save Wynn during the Corruption War. And that's about it, right on the surface, for uh, Maltic lore. There's always a bit more uh, than I talk about, but I like to leave some for you guys to find to learn yourself in the quests and everything. This is Falling Leaves mod, by the way. I'll put that in the description as well. There's also like this totally vibey well in the middle of town that is used in the quest Maltex Well. And I thought this looked pretty cool, especially with the, with the PSX shaders. Okay, so up next I'm going to spoil a discovery location for historical Maltex. So you have like five seconds to click off if you care about that at all. Okay. So you go up this little tower to the south of town, and if you jump on this anvil three times, it'll break and smash to the floor, revealing historical Maltec. It's not much, it's just this one room, but you can see this cool map of their ship coming over, and it like matches up with the in-game map, it's kind of cool to look at, and then these paintings are my favorite part, I mean, this is right up my alley. Just really good stuff here. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the lore for Maltic. And now we're going to get into the settings of the PSX shaders and check those out real quick. So first you have a fine mapping settings. And these are the only ones that I don't really know what they do. I don't really notice a difference. Uh, but here we have one of two main controls. This one affects how much wobble the terrain edges and block edges have like when you're moving around. You can see when I crank it where we're really wobbling around it, it goes kind of crazy, but then uh, we can reset them here at about 15. That's usually where I keep them. And this is pretty good for me. In this last section, that's where we get into the really fun stuff. We have color depth, pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, pretty much just how fleshed out the color spectrum is. And we have depth fog on, you know what that does, on and off. And you can also change the distance. I like it at about 300, but it's kind of cool if you put it at like 100. It's like Silent Hill a little bit. It's kind of creepy, right? And the resolution scale. This is the fun one. This one controls, obviously, your resolution. So if you dump it, you have like NES graphics pretty much. I put it around the middle for the PS1 feel. I wish there was a setting in between the two that I like to use, but here's the interesting part. You can crank it up and crank the color depth and the shader becomes like a color grading and sharpening pack, which apart from the PlayStation aesthetic completely, I actually really, really like the way Minecraft and uh, Windcraft looks with this. I mean, this is pretty cool. Here's a little A-B test for you uh, on this tree, and you can really see it on the hay. And uh, hey, that's about it, guys. 
for those of you following along, that was town number nine out of 33 in our Cover Every Town challenge. And uh, leave a sub for more videos like this. I hope you guys have a wonderful time in this game wherever you go. And thanks for watching.